So I think it's about time I tried out hammock camping. I've brought along far too much gear and I'll probably set it up all wrong. But surely making mistakes and learning as you go is part of the fun, isn't it? Just having a good look around for a suitable spot. It's quite busy up here today, so I'm looking for somewhere that's well away from any of the paths. Because I do want to get set up relatively early because it's the first time I've done it. I just want to make sure I'm ready for when it gets dark. It's only half past two, so we've got plenty of time, but it has forecast rain from about four o'clock, pretty much all night tonight. So I do want to be set up before that starts. I think we could probably make this work. I've got three trees. There's one here for one side, and then I'll either go to that one over there or the one on the left hand side there it's just a bit of a drop here that i need to be wary of so i might be better off between these two here that one and obviously this one let me get set up and then i'll give you a full tour of all the gear that i've bought before i forget the tarp is a kalinko tarp from amazon it's 27 quid i think God, it's a lot easier to put a tent up, innit? What's all this about? Try hammock camping, you said. So I've only just got the tarp up. The wind's coming from behind the camera. So I've made it drop down a little bit lower on this side. I've got three of these stealth orange guy lines on there. And then I've got three Prussic knots across the top on a ridge line between the trees. And then if we come around to this side, you'll see I've still gone quite low on that corner because the main path runs along there where my finger is so i've kept it quite low on that side and then on this corner i've just raised it up and gone to that tree there right let's get cracking on these orange guy lines came with that tarp as well and you get a couple of the wire pegs with it there's six of them all together but i've obviously got a spare one because i've used my own paracord on this corner here who came up with this as an idea i'm at camping so i've just had to move the tarp because my tree straps weren't long enough to reach from one side to the other basically and they only bought one set of them out with me so it's a bit of a schoolboy error but it's just taken me another 15 minutes to move the tarp and i've not even got the hammock up yet i've lost a lot of height as well because there's a bit of a hill there versus here where i was before where i got a bit of a dip but we'll just have to try and make that work um and i'll see if i can get the the hammock up now i mean i don't think stevie wonder has ever put a tarp up but if he did that's probably what it'd look like So there's the hammock up now. I think I've gone from probably the longest configuration you could try to the shortest. I've even had to make some makeshift loops on my tree straps just to make them a bit shorter. And I've done that on both sides as well. Just to give me a bit more height on the, the hammock because I'm sure it'll go down a bit once it's got my weight in it. I've had to move one of the Prusik knots along as well onto this bit here. It feels all right and I'm hoping it'll hold, but I guess time will tell, won't it? I've just got this under quilt thing to put in that I've got off um, Timu. I bought my Timu down sleeping bag to try out as well. So I'll get these done, get all my little bits and bobs set up, and then I'll give you a proper look round. So that is the longest it's ever took me to set up camp. It's five to four now, so we've probably got another hour and a half of light. Was it worth it? I guess we'll find out, won't we? So let me just do the usual pointing at things. I don't know how much you'll see under here because it's, it's starting to get a bit overcast and a bit dull. But I've put underneath the hammock a footprint from my Lanshan, just as a bit of protection and to help getting in and out of the hammock. I'm putting my boots on and all that sort of stuff. I've obviously got the hammock, the underquilt I've managed to attach somehow whether it lasts the night or not, I don't know. Then in here, just fluffing up, I've got the Timu sleeping bag. Now this is a camper box brand. And if you look for that name, camper box with a K, on Timu or AliExpress, you'll see the bags on there. They don't give a temperature rating on the Timu listing, but on AliExpress, it says that they go down to zero or minus five degrees. I think the minus five will be the extreme and zero, the comfort. 
but we'll give that a go tonight and report back on how I get on with it. I've got the cheap chair that I got from Timu as well. They've gone up loads since I bought that. That one cost me £14 something and I looked this morning and they're 26 quid now. So again, just look for chairs on Timu rather than that specific one. And then I've just spread my other stuff out here. I've got all the bags and things that everything came in in my rucksack there. A few drinks and then this fire pot meal that I'm going to give a final go later. I have brought along the Sussex Outdoors down pouch so we'll see what difference that makes and see if we can actually have a nice tasting fire pot meal. It does look like quite a few things have gone up in price on Timu to be fair so like I say the chair was 14 quid when I bought it. I was just looking at that um, what do you call it under quilt that's 50 quid now and I don't think it was that much when I bought it. Like I said earlier the tarp was from Amazon that was 28 quid and the hammock was from Amazon as well with the straps um, it was 35 quid I think but I'll put links to everything as always in the description so you can have a look. Going to be fun getting in and out of this thing later I think. I've got visions of waking up on the floor. Let's just have a look what the weather's saying. 90% chance of rain in the next hour, 13 degrees at the minute. It's only going to drop to 10 degrees by the morning, but we should be fine with that sleep stuff. Then wind speed, it's saying 13 mile an hour with 25 mile an hour gusts, so hopefully we'll be fine. It's obviously too soon to give a, a full verdict on hammock camping. But so far the setup has been a faff and I know it's my first time doing it so as I get more experience and do it more times I'll obviously get a bit quicker but there's still more parts to it, more moving parts than there would be for just throwing a tent up. I can get a tent up in probably three or four minutes depending on obviously what model it is but here I've got a fanny about with getting the tarp straight, getting the hammock straight and all that sort of stuff. My only hope is that it's the most comfortable night's sleep that I've ever had in my life and I'm a convert by the morning. Just realised I've not even got into the thing yet to try it out. This is where it all goes wrong. It's not bad to be fair. That rain's really coming down now though. I think I'm going to have to do something with this side because the rain's blowing this way and it's starting to get a little bit wet on here. That's better I think, it just needed lowering down a bit. It's windy. I have got a pillow in my bag as well but I don't know if I'm going to need it. I'll have a bit of a check when I uh, bed down for the night later I think. Alright so it's the last chance saloon for the fire pot meal. I'm going to get this on get it into the down pouch and we'll see what it tastes like. So yeah, as suspected really, that meal was just not very nice. The pouch did its job because I left it for 20 minutes instead of the 15 that it tells you to. And by the time I came to eat the meal, it was still red hot. So I've done all the right things to rehydrate it properly. I just don't think they're very nice. So I'm just gonna chill for a little bit now, listen to the sounds of the rain and then think about trying to get into this hammock. Well, after much Laughing about, I'm kind of in, so I'll see you in the morning for a verdict on hammock camping. Morning. So I obviously survived the night. It's been raining all night, which has been quite nice to listen to under the tarp, but it's not much fun packing up in the rain. I did sleep on and off last night. I was quite comfortable. I had to lower the foot end of the hammock during the night just because my feet ended up being higher than my, my head. But other than that, I didn't have to do any other adjustments. The camper box sleeping bag and the undercoat kept me warm enough though. Just thinking about it as I'm packing up and I think it's been worthwhile testing out hammock camping. But for me, I think it's a lot simpler and easier and more comfortable to be camping in a tent. Now I've only tried this once obviously and I know there are a lot of lessons I could learn in terms of setting up quicker, but there's still a lot of kit that you need to bring and a lot of faffing about to get the different components set up, as well as having to find a place and a position that's got a couple of trees for you to put the hammock up. I don't know who invented hammock camping, but somebody needs to drop them a message and tell them that tents exist. Right, that's me all packed away. Don't forget to subscribe if you like tents. I'm gonna get off home and wash my pegs, so I'll see you in the next one.